Here's a GRE quantitative comparison question. Let's take a look. So we have this triangle right here, GIK, and we're told that H is the midpoint of IG. So that means that this distance is equal to that distance. And that J is the midpoint of IK. So J is right there. That means that this distance is equal to that distance. We don't know that they're equal to each other. We, we can't assume that, right? We're told that IG, so this side of the triangle, equals GK, that side of the triangle, equals 10. So that means that this is equal to 10, and this is equal to 10, so that's going to be 5 and 5. The question is, what's greater, quantity A, IJ, this distance right here, or 5? In other words, is this equal to that? Is IJ equal to IH? Well, we don't know, and here's why. I'll, I'll make this very, very clear. Uh, all we know is that uh, these two are equal to each other, but we don't know the total distance of IK, right? And I'm going to resketch this. I'm going to resketch this drawing, uh, keeping all three of these things true, but showing that it, it doesn't at all have to be anywhere near 5. So I'm going to redraw the triangle like this. Here's uh, GI. I'm making that a little more tilted right there. So there's GI. And here is G, K. Both of these are 10. This is still a triangle, and I could put J right there. But as you can see, right, th this is nowhere near equal to 5, or nowhere near equal to half of that. So very often on quantitative comparison questions involving geometry, it's helpful to resketch the, uh, the picture they're giving you in a more extreme way because the one they've drawn is not necessarily to scale. You can't assume that. So the correct answer here is D. It cannot be determined. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my live online course, follow the link on my profile.